Hotter marmalade would have to go very, 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 very wet. Now we're going to cap this, so do it nice and thin. And some gold into this. So I'll flush the cuticle here before I tap everything. Since this is still wet, we're going to add a little bit of gold into it while it's still wet. Just gold flakes get in there. I already pre-cut the gold flakes out. I don't want to cap it anyway. The sound is off in class. <laughs> tell me, tell you what? Tell me that's a size 11 brush. If it is, it'll be, it'll be okay to use this. I use a smaller brush to marble because I don't really need a bigger brush. Um, it's a size, this is my size 10. I just don't think you need a big brush to marble because you, you're picking up small beads anyways, you know? Oops, I messed that up. I gotta clean this. I did that. I did that wrong. Start with the white first, okay, y'all? You guys probably noticed I do my marble a little bit different from other people. My way is a little bit more complicated, but I get the marble look a little bit better. Not all marble gonna look the same. And this very thin because I'm gonna encapsulate with clear later. One is still wet. I'm gonna put some gold on here, like I did the other one, and change the gold up a little bit. Different position, different spots. What this does is it gives the gold the ability to um, stick. Then I want to encapsulate; it won't move. So I might as well do this now. This one we're going to do a little bit, just the middle, and we'll do clear.
right hand means. So I don't have a player tip with Golden Cat. Remember this type of nails you're doing all encapsulation, so take your time because your majority of your nails gonna come out based on your how you while you do your encapsulation. Don't rush this, okay? I'm saying finer star because you're truly a blessing. <laughs> Thank you. You see my, my marble, you go, even though they're all different, they still go one direction, okay? And I try to make this as thin as possible. You don't want to make this too thick, because remember, we have to cap this. Because if we don't cap this with clear later, and we drill into it, you're going to take away that marble look that you work so hard to achieve. You never want it to blend, okay? You blend this, oof. So blend the colors together, you want that marble look. Be very careful. When this is too wet and you start blending, you're gonna ruin all that nice marbling you just did. I noticed that my marble is completely different from how you see enough people do it, right? On the way I do it, it's definitely a little bit harder, but once you get it down, I, I like it. It just has a, like more of a free form to it. I'm just going to put a little bit of armor and make that wet. I'm not going to go too crazy with this gold either, just to accent the nail, okay? We're not using this gold to go too crazy. Hit that share button, guys. I'm pretty sure there's people want to watch this, see this. Look at that. Oof. We want really wet beads when we're doing powder marbling, okay? You want to make it runny. Running it is the better. Is that because it helps you move it around? Yep. Helps you move the marble around. Without mixing the colors. Yeah. I'm well on my way. <laughs> okay. Now, now I should do it. <laughs> no. Exactly. I can clients, clients sitting here think they know everything. I can see the steps in my head, but my hands would never do. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. I like to educate my clients. Especially when it comes to the drilling part. I educate them really well. Make sure they don't move. Once you tell me that last time, you're like, because I will cut you. <laughs> I will cut you. You move, because my shit is sharp.
Okay, one hand down. Now we take out a clear. We're gonna encapsulate. So remember, we're not done here. It is very thin, so now we have to encapsulate. I'm gonna do a two bead process to encapsulate. And we don't need that much, because remember, And clear is very runny, so just let it sit. Then once the clear starts to set, then I'm gonna start moving it through. I want even distribution of the clear because the clear is gonna be what my foundation is gonna be mainly based on. Because my encapsulate, my marbling is very thin. I can't depend on that. This is where. I'm, the structure of my nail has to be from this clear. So I'm gonna make sure it's properly put on. Capping the whole nail. So it's like how I do a two bead. You want to switch to a bigger brush with the clear, then yeah, you go ahead, go for it. But I really don't really need to. I should keep my shape also. Foundation is there, clear is protecting everything. And the gold flakes didn't move because I did what? I put them on when the my other powder was still wet. Good morning. Oh my god, I forgot in Cali it's probably morning time. Same thing, everything okay? We're gonna cap everything with clear now. As well, let's take a look. I'm a strong believer, a non-believer in kits. I don't think there's no such a thing as a nail kit, to be honest with you. I think nail kits is a way for people to make money off of you. Companies don't give you random stuff. I'd rather just tell you what to get rather than make you buy stuff that you don't need. Most of the time, the companies will give you everything you don't need, boost up the price of the kit. Or they put stuff in there that they can't sell, and they call it a kit. Don't waste your money on kits. Just ask people what you need. You need monomer, acrylic brush, some nail tips is all you need. All the other stuff they put in that kit to make it whatever amount of money it is, it's just them just getting you. They're never going to use it. No such thing as a nail kit. So everybody starts nails off differently. Not everybody's the same. A kit may be good for a person, somebody, but it might not be good for another person. So that's my just my personal feeling on nail kits when companies start selling these. Hey, you know, these kits. Now, if you give me a build your own kit, then okay. Are you going to just make me buy whatever you put in there? Mm -mm. Doing giveaways again on my IG, so I don't miss out. IG is pinned on the link below. This process wasn't that hard, huh? Very quick. 
Quick and easy. I'm gonna let that clear set. You don't have to take my class to for me to let you for me to tell you what you need to know when you need to buy. I'll tell you that in my Q and A's. Guys, join me on my Q and A's at night around ten thirty Eastern time. I do Q and A's where I answer questions. Sometimes I miss questions when I'm working because I can't really see everything because I'm working. But you want to chill at night and just have a glass of wine or a beer and just talk nails with me. I'm on ten thirty Eastern time. Don't miss out. Put in your schedule. Ten thirty sometimes eleven. Sometimes a little earlier, but most of the time later. Um, just chill, you know. Are you gonna watch Netflix? No, why don't you watch it? Now I'm dead. And a lot of people ask me that. What, what do I need to buy as a beginner? I'm like, here you go. That's what you need. You don't need to pay for a class for me to tell you that. I definitely want to make sure that you guys know that for free. I'm just tired, guys. Of I'm getting flexed on. Not flexed, I'm like, beginners, they're always, it's so, it's so appealing when you see the word kit, beginner kit. But if you actually look at the stuff, stuff they put in there, you don't need that shit. No beginner needs primer, bonder. You're not going to be working on people yet. So make sure this clears very even, okay? I know sometimes it's a little bit difficult to work with, but it is what it is, okay? This makes up the structure of the nails. Clear is the killer of brushes. It sticks to your brush a lot, so make sure you clean it consistently. So that could just blend it right into that now. This one had the clear tip. This, this brush size is a size 10 right now. I'm using a smaller brush because I was doing powder marbling. You don't really need a big brush for powder marbling. A smaller brush would be easier because um you won't use, there's not enough, not a lot of brush, so you don't accidentally blend the, the, the marbling in. I'm trying to work really slow with this clear because I don't, I don't, I don't want any issues with the um, bubbles. All right, I'm just going to do this clear just like how I do a two bead if I were just doing a whole set of nails. This is encapsulation, full encapsulation, powder marbling. So we did the marbling underneath, very thin, of course. We're going to cap it off so we don't drill and buff into our marbling. That would make me want to cry. Consistently shaping my nail, making sure that I use the whole brush, smooth it all out. You don't know when there's a spot that's not smooth.
for that. Woo. I got to switch out my monomer pretty soon. This monomer is getting old. Getting sticky. Don't worry, if you just join, I only did one hand, I'll do the other hand from start to the beginning. You didn't miss the marbling part. I have to do it again. As the monomer gets older, it's harder for you to get beads. You see that? Make sure you switch out your monomer when it gets contaminated. I've been working with this white powder and this green powder, so definitely it's going to have some kind of contamination, okay? Monomer starts getting sticky. Brush starts getting sticky. A lot of you guys don't know that. You think that monomer doesn't get contaminated? Yes, it does. It loses its uh, consistency. And you start picking up smaller beads and stickier beads. You're like, what's going on? All you have to do is just switch on some new monomer, okay? Don't try to force it. Right now, I'm struggling right now. I'm going to use this last bit for this hand. And I'll be able to switch, clean my brush and switch. Use the rest of my armor, clean my brush. Look at the beating it took. Yeah, that stickiness is from the uh, the clear. The clear powder is horrendous when it comes to that. So make sure when every time you use a clear powder, you make sure you get your brush nice and clean, okay? Before you store it, or you're gonna have residue stuck in it. Get rid of the old monomer. That's why I only pour a little bit. If I would have poured a lot of monomer, all that monomer would have been contaminated earlier. Remember when I told you guys, just pour what you need. And I'm going to add more of my monomer right here. Only how much I need. That's it. It's all I'm, the amount I need, okay? Don't fill it all the way to the top. Waste your monomer, okay? And then we're going to do this other hand. And we're going to, let me see, what direction I do that? I do it in that direction. All right, we'll do the opposite okay. direction. So I like to do the opposite direction when it comes to my marbling. Thin as possible. Well, it's still wet. I'm going to add my gold.
It's a little bit harder to do in reverse, so make sure you practice this first, okay? If you have to, do it on one, one direction if you have to. Reverse, just a way to do it that it makes it so the nails really come together. It's not mandatory to do it in reverse. But definitely when you put the hands together, it does look good, okay? You want everything in one direction. Thank you, Tandy. What number green? This is 65 from Chisel. Thank you, Deja. Thank you, York. Thank you, Tandy, for the heart. Thank you, Vanilla. Appreciate that, you, girl, you guys. Sorry, I haven't been reading the comments, guys, because I was just really into like doing this set right now. So please excuse me if I, I'm not responsive on the, the uh, the chat. Sometimes when I get my zone or I'm doing a design where I'm just like really focused, I don't like, I forget I'm even living to be honest with you. I'm very gentle with this brush. I'm trying really hard not to blend, like use a brush to blend the whole thing in because you'll ruin your, your marble. You gotta do it very lightly, okay? Very gentle. Using the tip of the brush to just blend the colors through. You don't wanna blend, you wanna see that marble line. So you do powder marbling. Yes, there are other ways to do this, but this is how I do it. I, my, I know. No, yeah, Dad, you're, you're making it look too hard. Yes, it is hard. The way I do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. See? I learned. Get out of here. Yes, I don't talk about pricing on my life. It's a good reason for that, actually. You guys already know how much my prices are. Just, just imagine how much I charge, okay? Visualize it. You don't need me to tell you. You know. I know, I know it's nice for you, you. I know you want to hear me say it, but you know how much I charge. Keep down inside, you know how much now that charges.
<laughs> you're all laughing because you know it's true, right? Deep down inside, you're like, yeah, we know. We just wanted to hear it. Here's a hint, at least three dollar signs. How about that? <laughs> Is that a good enough hint for you guys? You know you go to restaurants and like one dollar sign, two dollar sign, three dollar signs, how rate how expensive the restaurant is. No but no, I'll joking aside, I'm using my pricing, I don't talk about my pricing because it's something between me and my clients. Not, and I don't want people to get the wrong impression. Why? Because I charge the way I charge. Um, my clients are willing to pay for it. And they come back. And we're done. Get some gold in here, cap everything, file, shape, top coat, boom, we're done. Seems so easy. It is easy. Actually, I, I do recommend you guys do encapsulation. Encapsulation sets are actually not that hard. Um, if you do it... You know, the proper steps, take your time. It comes off looking really amazing. We're not to be disappointed, neither were your clients, but definitely it, it, it's on the, this process here we call application. If you rush through this, your encapsulation is not gonna look good. Tighten up that shit, that stick, boom. See, another hand down. No, see, just other direction. I am going to clear up some of this stuff, though. I'm putting away this green. Once again, guys, this is the chisel green. So it's 65, and I used the American white. It's not too white. So I'm going to clean my brush real quick before I do this clear. Thank you so much. Deja vu. Thank you, Jennifer. Now, this is my size 10 brush. All right, now we're going to cap the clear. Just like how we do a two bead. Remember, clear is a little bit runny for a reason. Just hold on your brush a little bit longer if you have to. This clear will bring the structure to your nails. Make sure you don't get any bubbles in this clear also, okay? We don't want that. I wouldn't be able to take colors. I'd, be, I'd have to paint over. Yeah. Why? Right. No, yeah, this you have to paint over. Or a new set. I actually told you this. No, no, here is. You could have answered that without even asking me. When you're doing captions like this, you're not meowing to change this color. You're committed. New set next time or paint over with something that can be, can cover this green up.
This brush is a year old. I can't wait for my new brush to come in. I need to retire this brush. I'm going to throw a brush retirement party. Your time, this clear is going to be your foundation clear. You don't want any even surfaces. That's why we do the green really thin, okay? I love watching you work. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Yvette Young. Thank you, Tandy, for the links. Appreciate that. And this one, we had that gap right here for the clear. Make sure it's all nice and even. And this, all the work we did, that's it. When we file, shape, and drill. And drill bits are back in stock, y'all. Jennifer, did you hear me? <laughs> drill bits are back in stock. They come in medium and fine, and they have the safety version for those of you guys that are new. My drill bits are very unique. They are not like the ones you see. Anybody else, I had to make custom. So, yes, you'll see them in a second. I'm going to use the medium one today because I haven't never used the medium one. I used the fine version of my sharp. So, now that I have the medium version, I'm going to use it. I did. I used it earlier to break down some of the acrylic here. Uh, when we soak up for set, it was actually pretty nice. So, I'm just kind of excited to use that medium. I build structure with this clear like how I would when I do my my sets, okay? Make sure you cover all your bases, your apex, your base of the nail. Make sure everything's nice and even. This will make or break your set. Don't do that amazing marble and then skip out in this part and then you have improper structure and the nail's going to break. No point having a great design when the nail's going to break anyway. You know me, all about structure. Oh, come on. Please tell me I have enough monomer to get the last three. I don't want to pour any new monomer. If you have a small brush, you can actually pick up a big bead. Oh, correction, guys. Um, for those guys that are interested in the Connecticut class, it's actually in Milford, not Hartford. I've been, I don't know why I kept saying Hartford for some reason. I didn't even know there was actually a Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> so Milford. In Milford, Connecticut, and Atlanta is in May. I apologize to anyone that thought it was in Hartford. because I, I did put Hartford in some of my polls, and I did say Hartford Live at some point, I'm pretty sure. Hartford, Connecticut is the class in May 17th to 18th. And Atlanta is 31st, June 1st. I will post the flyers today or tomorrow morning, and um, they will fill up. Um, for all the students that are already in there from the pre-enrollment, awesome. And if you're still on the fence, make sure you register for that right away because when I post that flyer in public groups, that's it. It's going to fill up. I give about two to three weeks for my students, previous returning students, and also um, you know, followers and fans. So you guys get first dibs, but I will go public with it within three weeks to fill in the class. Classes has a good size amount of students in our writing, so we're going to fill in the rest of this, the class soon. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I'm actually gonna get some fresh monmer. Just gonna finish this up strong. This monmer is getting a little bit tender also. When you come to Ohio, I will actually. After after my uh after after my um my West Coast tour, I'll come to Ohio. After my uh, Denver, Vegas, and Cali class, I'll come back to East Class and East Coast, and I'll go to Ohio. How about that? Are you okay with that, Jennifer? At least Ohio's on the map. I'm putting a little bit more monomer just to speed up this process. It's getting a little bit sticky. I can I can afford to waste a little bit monomer, but you guys don't. <laughs> See the bead difference once I put some fresh monomer in? It makes a difference. And I appreciate you driving driving far for the Philly class, Jennifer. Oh my gosh, there's, oh my gosh, the uh, nail shows are coming back. I think I might have to go through some of the nail shows too. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. IBS is coming back to, I think they're having one, they're, they're coming back to um, New York and La Vegas. And I'm about to, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do a class during that time. So I can do a trip. I don't have to make, I don't have to make one trip. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to see what the IBS Vegas is. I'm going to put my Vegas, my Vegas class that day. Get people the ability to come in for class. Oh, that's a good idea. Ooh, I'm excited. Someone look up IBS Vegas International Beauty Show for Vegas. What date that is for me, please? I think it's in July, I believe. June 20th. June 20th. Really? Uh, June 18th to the 21st. Sorry. June 18th to the 20th? Really? I thought it was July. IBS. Yeah. June? June 18th to the 21st, which is also Father's Day. Frag. Dang, I had to stay an extra four days after my class if I want to go to that. Ooh, let's see. Because I know I'm gonna have a class June 14th and 15th, three days after. Hmm. Possible. I'll work something out. I'm gonna talk to some people. What, hey, check, look up the IB, the, the show in New York. IBS New York. Yeah, I'm gonna come in rocking all manifest gear, you know, dad gear. Woo. People know who I am. <laughs> July. July what? Twenty fifth. July twenty fifth. Damn it! I already did my New York class. <laughs> Ain't doing that again. <laughs> All right, we're done. I'm gonna put this clear away. And of course, clean your brush because I guarantee you, my brush is so beat right now. It's all that powder I did. See that? It's sticky, guys. Look at this. See that? That means that it's not sealed in yet. It's not dried yet. So you can still clean it. 
So, get yourself a fresh paper towel. Get this monomer wet and light, lightly push out and pull back as you go, okay? Just like that. And you get the residue out. And when you see that's not sticky anymore, that's when you know your brush is free of it. It's sticky, but it's not too dry. It's still like kind of like a wet form because you've been using it. But if you leave it, it's going to seal up. That's why you see that. You feel it. You, oh, it doesn't feel like a lot of acrylic on there. And also, I know you come back and use your brush and it's already like sealed up with acrylic. But the difference? See that? Boom. If a feather's through like that, it means that it's free of it. Get your brush wet. Put the brush away. This brush is over a year old, y'all. Been through hundreds of sets. And of course, I'm gonna throw this monomer away. There's no point in keeping this, anyways. IBS is July 25th, 26th. I got invited to that one, but I'm not sure if I want to go with any company. I kind of want to be my own, do my own thing. Okay. So now we're gonna just do some quick shaping. And cuticle work in the top coat. Shape should already be there. I'm using about a hundred hundred for it right now. Shaping, I'm just kind of crisps up the shape because the shape has been there for me already. Of course, some excess will probably drip over. Tense up, I'm trying to, over, trying to do some shape in here. <clears throat> and really, that's all I really do when I do filing. Uh, shaping is definitely a big issue for a lot of people. I know because a lot of guys ask me. But to be honest, I don't really have any tips or tricks other than tell you that I do my shaping during my application. So my shaping is just, you know, already there. What are these nails called? This is um, powder modeling. Thank you, Janae Nicole. Um, powder marbling. Um, this is a powder marbling set, full powder marble set encapsulation. This green and this white and this gold make it look like jade. Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Go. Nice crisp shape. Boom, boom, boom. Voila. Voila. Under under five minutes. Under three, four minutes. And really, there's nothing unique that I do. Just simple, side to side. Oh, the brand of brush is my, my own brand. I have my own brushes. They'll be restocked probably in a week or two. Preferably in a week. They are on their way, though.
When the taco hits, it's the magic. Taco would be the magic, you know. bits are back in. I'll show you guys the difference in these two right here. Um, this is the medium one. See, this is the safety version. You see how the corner, the edge is a little smoother. This is the sharp version. Sharp. I will be using the sharp. That means you need to relax your, your freaking hand. No, I'm serious. This is fresh. I will bone quick with you. <laughs> Oh my god, that feels so good. Brand new. It's brand new and so sharp. Oh, it feels so good. It's getting in the, oh my god. Yes. Child. My bet. Worth his weight in gold. Bet. Yo. I miss you. I've been using my more worn out bits and it just just isn't it isn't doing the job. Yeah, yeah. This is so pizza. Quick down here. This is a five and one. I can use this to find hold hand. It's big enough for the whole finger. Small enough for the tip, sharp enough. And if you are a beginner and you don't know how to use cable yet, use buy the other one. It's called the safety bit one. The sharp one is not the, not the one you want, okay? Once you get used to the safety bit one, then you get the, or you can buy them both and have them both ready. Because they're both the same size, same shape. So when you get your you know hands on, you know, you get you're used to it. Then you can move to the sharper one and you're able to get maybe these little corners and edges. Make them nice and crisp and clean. See that? It's big enough for you to cover the whole nail base and so you can drill the nails. You guys are probably wondering why I've been hand filing lately. It's because I don't have this bit in hand. I lost this bit in, in Texas. Or one of my students borrowed it, quote unquote. 
Oh my god, this Whew, this medium though. It's it's, it's like do you think acrylic lays like butter? This shaves down acrylic butter. I gotta be careful. I don't wanna put too much pressure. It's very light pressure. I can feel it. Smoothness. This bit is made specifically a, a custom way, okay? It's cross cut, not vertical cut like most most bits. It's a unique cut. That's why circular motion is the best for this bit. You wanna go through? I'm telling you, this bit is money back guaranteed. Actually, if you want it, someone else will get it. I think all my students probably scoop up pretty much all of them. Oops, I accidentally hit the phone there. You don't want to see a really close up one? I am an advocate for safety bits, but you cannot deny the sharp bits. They are the best when it comes to cuticle work. Precision, how clean it is. We've been waiting for this bit to come back in stock for so long. <laughs> I do circular motion because my bit is a, it's a cross cut. So when I go circular motion, it's going to eat into this acrylic. Oh my, it's so smooth, y'all. I wish there was a way to show you guys how smooth this is. Let's do a close-up one. If you see red, close your eyes, okay? You see that? I'm going right into the cuticle area, the between the cuticle and the acrylic, and you do not see the gap. Why don't we see a big gap? It's because this is a sharp bit. It's not cambered, so it won't show that gap. As long as you angle it properly, you flush the cuticle down, put it down. This will not lift on you. See? Sold, now that's sold. Yep, they're available on the website now. I guarantee you, they'll be out of stock pretty soon. I guarantee you. Because once I, my Chicago students see that, my Atlanta students, all my other students, and it, <laughs> yikes! Actually, I might I probably have to just order more right now, just in case. Now I think about it, I probably don't have enough. If all my students are going to want them. But I do have them find a medium, okay, y'all? Just figure out which one you like. Medium is great. Fine is definitely great also. Get the safety one. If you're a beginner, please. This is sharp. I don't want you to cut yourself or your client. You'll get here. Once you've used the other one, you're getting used to it. And then you'll be able to have a very firm understanding of the bit, the size, Speed, and all you're doing is switching out is you're switching out the uh, the sharpness. I like this bit because it's big enough for me to cover up the whole nail space.
Thank you for supporting the Nail Desert. And 60 ounce Marmar will be coming back in stock soon, hopefully. By next week. Yeah, I just went crazy on that. I think it's my students. My students are the one that bought them all up. Blame my students, okay? And after this, we just got a buff and top coat. And we're done. Pretty decent set. Under one hour. Um, maybe a little bit over an hour. Under, for sure, if I didn't live, but. Baby. I have it ready, I think anyways. Um you might have to find one. You, you probably have to find version. You probably did, Jennifer. You probably bought it when it first came out. This is the medium version, but you probably have the fine version. I'm talking about all my other students coming up though. Chicago class. I'll bring some to class for them to buy, though. Feeling of drilling. You can't beat it. It's smooth as the Christmas. You know what? I can see why you guys love this bit so much because when I lost my bit in Texas, I didn't have it. Oh my god. Working was really rough for me. Yes. Yeah, I'm so used to Yeah, the other ones are not as sharp because I've worn them out already. I'm so used to this sharp one. I was just For me to go to the cuticle area like this, like, uh, I like it sharp like, like that. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. And literally, I was out of stock. I couldn't even, I couldn't even get one for myself. <laughs> I had to wait for it to come back into stock. Just like my brushes right now, I need to upgrade my brushes well, because my brushes are been a year old, so I kind of retire them, you know. Shit, system. Shit, shit. I didn't see this particular. Yeah, it is on there. You just gotta look it up. It's a blue one. Look up drill bits. Safety or sharp. They're they're all up on there. They're posted yesterday. Just search around a little bit. I'm gonna have someone redo my website, and make it easier to work with. Yeah, and like, ah, oh, Tania. You ready for class two? I know you are. Shoot. I know you are. You ready for that master class.
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Man, I'm, I work so much faster with these sharp fits. I'm not gonna lie. Right, I'm sorry, but my 501s are beast. I still remember when the people asked me, why? You sure you wanted to make me made this way? I'm like, hell yeah. I knew what I wanted. If you, I, I promise you guys, if you guys go circular motion with this drill bit, it removes so fine. Wow. I'm going to speed up a little bit more. It removes it, but it won't give you that resistance. And my nail's not really that thick, but I run over, but really, I'm really concerned about this is the cuticle area here. the last three fingers we're going to do a quick clean right underneath and then top coat you guys will see when it comes together those guys are stayed here from the beginning got a chance appreciate that if you guys are new and rewatch this video i'll probably save it you guys will see me do the powder application part process um, please do follow my instagram thank you for the support i'm trying to reach a certain goal at that goal i'll be doing a giveaway Same technique over and over again, guys. Nothing new. Nothing fancy. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Clean underneath. 
Put your eyes in. No, I got caught my glove. <laughs> There's some reason why I have a lot of stability when I hold your finger. In case something like that happens, it doesn't go crazy. Mm -hmm. I believe my favorite drill bit. I just cut down my time a lot. I'm just going to clean up any excess I have. It's also contributes to the shape too, okay guys? guys there we go give it a quick nice buffer on we're gonna hit it with a top coat and then that jade is gonna come right through I think this is about what an hour 15 minutes get a nice buffer Hands. I'm gonna go through with a hand filer just real quick, clean up some sides, okay. and then we're gonna get, get that. Okay, guys, just real quick. Crisp up the shape a little bit. shape and sometimes you do when you drill um when you when you if i feel like i've taken down any bulk i will go back through and crisp the shape because anytime that thickness changes your shape will change a little bit okay so make sure that you go back through and just crisp it up a little bit that's only if you're ever breaking down a lot of bulk okay thickness will reflect on the shape remember that Okay, watch hands. 
And we just top coat after this, guys, and it'll bring everything to life. And that's it. That's the encapsulation set. When you do encapsulation, that's how you do it. Let me see it's a nice no cleanse. Um, this is the fine, this is the medium. Okay, both are great. I actually really like the fine too. I think you should go with the fine. Either or. This one you'll be able to break down a critic a little bit more. Hey, what's up? Are you guys coming out Friday? No, you can get it done right now. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was on my board for Friday, but I just didn't know, um, I don't know why. But the blade is right, so I went and got it to... Okay. What's the uh, password to get up on the roof again? It's the number under that. Okay. Under All the right. thermometer right there. Okay. Thank you. Everything's already like, uh, approved and everything, right? Yeah. Okay. It's 500 or something. We've been waiting for you guys to come on and do it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. But I heard you it's right there. Here we guys go. Right underneath here too. Give a more clear look. Just like that, gal. The finishing touches. There you guys go. And please support now dad's cuticle oil. <laughs> I've even had these. My team's like, yeah, they're on the store. You never use them, so people don't know whether you have them or not. I'm like, oh, okay. Start using them. You dummy. <laughs> Thompson three flavors. Alright guys, there it is. Ooh. Cuticle flushness. Okay. Powder marble encapsulation with gold flakes, okay? Off and long. Very pretty. Put it in. 
same thing, opposite direction. Alright, I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go on my lunch break. Ooh, I need this needs this needs some some oil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right there it is, guys. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.